A team of special trained negotiators helped bring Wanchanik into custody last night. Todd Magel is live in studio with how that tactic works. Todd? Well, Stacey, a Dallas County deputy, an Iowa State Patrol officer, even an Urbandale police officer spent four hours talking to the double murder suspect. All are skilled negotiators who use words, not guns. Still talking traffic. He hasn't got out or anything. The short police chase on Highway 141 near Woodward ended quickly. Michael Washnick's stolen van broke down. And even though he had a gun, the law enforcement team determined that negotiation would be the best way to deal with the murder suspect. Oh, yeah. These negotiators, uh, you know, they train a lot and uh, they do a good job. He did an outstanding job tonight. Dallas County Sheriff Chad Leonard says his deputy was the lead negotiator. The state patrol helped out too. Sincere, honest communication with this person. Sergeant Brett Jepkes heads up the patrol's negotiation team. If we have some uh, good communication skills, hopefully we can build some trust and, and uh, uh, try to influence behavior to a positive direction. Jepke says negotiators use the public address system in their patrol car to talk to Wojnik. After four hours of back and forth, he got cold and gave up. Gun is in front of him. He's out of the vehicle. We're listening to what this person has to say, and and we're listening to what they say, and and we're trying to you know give them positive alternatives uh, to end a situation peacefully. And that's just what happened. You can mark him detained at this point. Secure. Now, the state patrol has 20 trained negotiators all across the state, and most major police departments have several as well. And in the past two years, the state patrol team has been deployed 48 times, including last night, Stacey. Well, Todd, how do they decide when to negotiate? Well, it's up to the incident commander on the scene of one of these incidents. Uh, since they were in a rural area last night, no chance of anybody getting hurt. They decided there was no imminent threat, and they had the space and the time to talk it out. All right, Todd, thank you.